Hi, this is Nigel from Discovering Dowsing, answering your questions about dowsing. Dowsing for ley lines. This is a topic which comes up amongst dowsers every now and then, and like so many other subjects in dowsing, it causes a lot of confusion. The first and main cause of confusion is over what is meant by ley lines. The term was first used in 1921 by Alfred Watkins in his book The Old Straight Track. He used it to mean something quite specific. His idea was that there were alignments of ancient monuments and prehistoric sites which could still be seen on the land. He suggested that these alignments were trackways which could still be followed on a map if not on foot. What happened next was that over the years, this idea of a simple physical alignment changed into something more spiritual and energetic in nature. But before we look at what happened, it's important to point out that the original idea of these lines has not convinced everyone. The critics argue that you can simply throw a straight edge on a map and find a line pretty much anywhere at all. In other words, they are nothing special. So how did they remain popular? The answer lies in a book by John Mitchell called The View Over Atlantis, published in 1972. In this, Mitchell, fascinated by Earth mysteries, expanded on the original concept of Watkins by saying that such lines on the Earth were acting as guides for extraterrestrial craft. Later on, he became more interested in the landscape than the spacecraft idea, and claimed that the lines had a real magnetic phenomenon to them, and that they were part of a planet-wide network. The influence of this book was immense, and acted to spark a whole generation's interest in Earth mysteries and lost knowledge. Challenges to the idea of ley lines as visible things led to a split in the ley line movement, which is where dowsing comes in, because some felt that even if the old idea of visible lines on the land was wrong, then such lines still existed, but could only be discovered by intuition or dowsing. The problem now is what exactly is being discovered by dowsing? Do such lines truly exist? And if they do, how can that be proven to anyone else? And what are they for? Are they really part of a lost ancient network? For what purpose? Or are they somehow connected to UFOs? Are all ley lines straight? If not, why not? Is a straight line on the landscape, like a Chaco Canyon, or like a Roman road, a ley line or something else? Can a straight line become a ley line? Can all ley lines be doused because they are invisible, or are they only visible lines, or a mixture of the two? In other words, what makes a ley line a ley line nowadays? And is it even possible to have any agreement anymore? What started out as a very simple idea has become so complicated and muddled that it's very difficult to know what anyone means anymore when they use the term ley line. Therefore, if you decide to use dowsing to investigate a ley line, you have to be careful about being very clear in your definition before you start. Otherwise, you run the risk of dowsing two or more different things in the same area as well as not being able to explain clearly to any other dowser what exactly you are doing. In other words, your results will have no meaning and make no sense to anyone else. Happy dowsing! Make sure you like and subscribe to us. Add your thoughts about ley lines and dowsing in the comments section, and then get your free video on how to douse by clicking on the link.